Hello Bucks fans, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Bucks first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. Even during his prime years in the NBA, when he was still with the Utah Jazz, Joe Ingles was not used to being the focal point of the offense. But in last Tuesday's 116-104 win by the Milwaukee Bucks over the Phoenix Suns on the road, the veteran forward got a taste of what it's like to be the fulcrum of the attack in the clutch. Joe Ingles scored just three points in nearly seven minutes of action in the fourth quarter of that contest, but he also had three assists, with the Bucks trusting him with the ball to run the right plays with it. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Bucks Thanks. Continuing. I knew with my work ethic, I knew what I wanted to do and where I wanted to be, and I feel like it's starting to work out how we all envisioned it, but it's pretty cool to be out there with those guys at the end of the game and be the one that's getting a play called for you," Joe Ingles said when he looked back at the experience of being the one relied upon to make things happen on the floor, per Eric Nem of The Athletic. Joe Ingles would finish that game with six points, seven assists, and three rebounds in 27 minutes of action. While the Bucks are still going to be as far as where Giannis Antetokounmpo takes them, guys like Ingles who knows how to get things done, when called upon to step up and deliver could ultimately determine whether Milwaukee wins it all this season. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Bucks I update you at any time with the latest news from Bucks.